What you're about to see is both aggravating and agitating. It may give you a headache, but I promise you one thing. You've probably never seen a person like this before in your life. I'm just asking you, I'm, I can. I'm in, well, call the cops. Call the cops. This is my First Amendment right. You're recording me. I can record you. I'm going into this Walmart where I am trespassed. And the reason why is because nobody, the corporate office, or when I call, they won't give me proof of me being trespassed. And they said I'm trespassed on every Walmart in the world. You know, if we didn't have video proof of some of this stuff, like this woman here, people might not believe us. They might just think we were just talking. She's very much real. I'm just asking you, I'm, I can. I'm in, well, call the cops. Call the cops. This is my First Amendment right. You're recording me. I can record you. Well, good luck with that. Who's going to give you service? Oh, there's cameras all over. Call the cops. You are not supposed to be trying to impede my First Amendment right. Can I please see the policy now? Well, I need to speak to someone that's not afraid of the camera. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. You guys are recording me. Can you ask them if they're refusing me service, sir? I really need to call the cops. Can you please push Lakewood Police Department so we can find out the number? Hello? Hi. I'm part of asset protection. I just, we don't have that, so. Have what? The product that you're looking for, so. No, I know, I know, and yeah, I, I want, no, no, uh, can I talk, can I speak? Yes, you may. I mean, that's all you've been doing is speaking. Maybe it's time to shut your lips and let somebody else do the talking. Is it ready? Yeah. Please give me space. You're kind of in my bubble, sir. I'm going to actually ask you to leave the store. You I'm can do that. Like, I'm going to call Lakewood right now, so, okay. Hi, sir. Um, I'm at the Walmart on 2nd and um, Wadsworth, and they're calling 911 on me because I'm recording and I'm asking for, a, I'm asking them a couple questions regarding a return. No, you're causing a scene. These people tried to help you. You don't want to listen. They don't have what you're looking for. And now you want to cause a problem. That's the whole reason why you got your camera running. Is so you can cause a problem. Upload it to YouTube and say, hey, everybody, look what i done to them. And all I asked them for is the policy. And they're starting to tell me, you can't record me. They're not serving me or whatever. And I'm not going to be lied on. So they're calling 911 using 911 services for a non-emergency. And I would prefer to stay on the phone with an officer so they don't, can't sit here and lie on me when all I'm doing is recording. And See what I'm saying? Even on the phone to the officer, nobody can get a word in. All her mouth does is go and go and go and go. And they're calling the, and they're using 911 services over customer service issue. Yeah, I can, but I don't want to. I, I'm, I deserve customer service just in, why? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Are they going to talk to me first? Because if they're not going to talk to me first, I shouldn't have to leave. I didn't do anything wrong, sir. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, you got the heater, right? Sir, he's um, going where I'm trying to go. I have. Sir, I'm sitting here trying to get protection, and you're kind of insinuating that I'm breaking laws and doing stuff. Um, because you are. You were already told they're not going to serve you. You were already told they don't have what you're looking for. And then you were told to leave the store. But none of that got through to you. Have a nice day, man. Appreciate you. I'm not leaving. The officers are coming. Get out of my face. They're not giving me space, sir. They're not giving me space, sir. I'm walking out. I don't need them behind me. I don't need them behind me. Come on. I don't need them behind me, sir. They won't stop talking. I'm not a private. This is public. Are you kidding me right now? Get out of my face so I can walk away. Come on, Melissa. Shut up, crybaby. Crybaby. Says the woman willing to put on a whole scene in front of all of Walmart who wants to cause an uproar because they don't have what she's looking for. 
who has already been denied service and told to leave the store. But he's the crybaby? You are delusional. That doesn't help your cause. First Amendment. First First Amendment. Tell him about the First Amendment. There's an officer right there. Yeah, I know. Okay, there's an officer here, sir. Bye. Tell him what's going on. What's the emergency? You're not gonna kick me out for no reason. This is private property. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Okay, for what? What crime have I committed? I have a disability. I've heard them once. They don't need to keep telling me. It's private. Private. Yeah, it's a private business. Oh, shocking. Also, they do have to keep telling you because you refuse to leave. You were told to leave the store. Private property? Why are the windows, why are the doors open? I have a disability, the officer's here. I have a disability, the officer's here. Huh? I have a disability, the officer's here. You do not need to get in my face. You don't need to keep talking to me. The cops are here. What'd you call them for if you're going to continue? Hey, let's step outside so we can chat, okay? Okay. But you know, you, they know about the First Amendment. You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. Uh, don't worry about, they have me handled, so shut up. I went to return the heater, I don't have the box with me, and I got it in Inglewood. Okay, okay. And um, I have the receipt, I, have my, I pulled out my ID, my card it went on, I already know the, the drill, right? Yeah. Sure. I go up there and they're like, uh, we don't have the box, we can't return it. I know that's not true because I called the store. Okay. Right? Um, the store that, that sold it, it's a Walmart thing, as long as, yeah, okay, I had the receipt and everything, which, fine, they said, ma'am, we just can't do it, and I said, well, can you please show me the policy, and she said, no, I said, well, then I'm pulling out my recorder, because that's what I do. I pulled out my recorder, because that's what I do. You tried to bring a heater back without the box. Nobody is going to let you return something without the box. She said, you can't record me, and they started, they called 911 and said I was sitting here disturbing them. They just got offended. I didn't do wrong. And this, sir, come on. This ain't private property. You know that. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, well. Why are the doors open if it's private? Where did you, where did you get your law degree? Do I don't need a law degree to know my, the this Constitution. Is not, this is not private, this is private property. It's where does it, okay, well, can you give me something that says that then? I am a citizen. Yeah. A state law that Walmart is a private property. Any, any, any state any, law. Any property that's owned by a person or a corporation mm -hmm. is private property. Boom. Roasted. It's a private like, property. You, you need to leave in that back. Yeah, that's why. Because I'm cussing. Listen, wait, wait just a second. Yeah. Nobody's giving you a ticket. We're just going to give you a paper saying you're trespassing from all Walmarts from now on. All Walmarts from now. Okay. <laughs> no, sir. I have I committed a crime? Please, please may I have your. What please, crime please, have I? Right now, a lot of you are thinking that was pathetic, immature, and unbelievable. But we're not done yet. New day, new Walmart. I'm going into this Walmart where I am trespassed. And the reason why is because nobody, the corporate office, or when I call, they won't give me proof of me being trespassed. And they said I'm trespassed on every Walmart in the world. So, but they don't want to give me proof of it, and I need proof of it. So, I have all the phone calls recorded of me attempting to get proof of my trespass. I've been calling. I have proof of all my phone calls because I have the recording. I called corporate. I've called the security here. Told me to call corporate to get proof of my trespass. They corporate said they don't deal with it, and I can give you the recording to show you that I did. Okay. I tried uh, to call back. Was the why you were okay. What's that? Why was the reason why? I still don't know. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Well, I was live recording. That's why they got mad, actually, and originally put me out. But I'm legally allowed to record. Okay, so they so... Didn't. Are you sure that your britches aren't on fire? Because you sure are a liar. You were put out of the store because you tried to return a heater that didn't have a box. Then you got disorderly. Then you didn't want to listen to nobody. Then you caused a scene.
Then you were told to leave the store, none of which you complied with. So they called the law. So what happened when they passed you out? Of but I just need proof. Okay, so when that, did you go to court? No, I need proof of my chest pass. And you're recording me right now. So yeah. I will not talk to you. Uh -huh. And I remember why you got trespassed. Okay. I will not talk to you. Anymore. Well, so I can't be trespassed. You go to court. Okay, can I ask you? I have this, but can I ask you a question? And I will not be recorded. Is it illegal to be recorded? Yes, it is. In Walmart? It's a private property, and you are not allowed to record. Okay? Is there but signs that say that? There's a sign out there. Yeah, that's fine. So, man, you need to warm up first. Is there a sign out here, man? Okay, but who can I talk to you to get proof? I find Chris. Because I remember why you got trespassed. Uh huh. Okay? Oh, why was it then? Please. You're recording me, and that's why. I'm asking you to let me know why I was recording. But First of all, you're stupid. <laughs> Let's just get that out the way. Uh, you say you trespassed from Walmart? You're not supposed to be? Everyone in the world. I have that on video. Uh huh. But I had to. I had to come because nobody's answering my calls. Okay. So you guys will not give me a quick bit. That's what you're saying? Uh, you have to go. There's nobody here. Okay. You can go back and talk to Chris. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I'm just doing this real quick because there's nothing that says you cannot record in here. Now, what do you think would happen if this same person got pulled over and had to go to court? Um, so I will let you know, and this is not from me, this is from the Supreme Court Directive, that you're not allowed to record it. The, the, Supreme, the Supreme Court the Directive. Yeah, the Supreme Court Directive. because cause you're part of the retaliation. It is my First Amendment right to record. And I understand uh, the... Protection is not necessarily... Protection? Yeah, it's, it's so that clients don't get recorded while... Clients recorded. don't get recorded while... In co We're in public. You know this is my First Amendment right. Why are you violating it? I am not attempting to violate your... You are violating it. Honey, you don't seem like your normal self. Okay. What is the name of the Supreme Court guy, or what did you say his it's name is? Supreme Court Directive. I can mm -hmm. pull the number for you if you'd like. I don't need the number. Okay. It's a First Amendment in the Constitution. Sure. Uh, we... Well, I give permission for my case to be on record. Okay. And anything that's in public is legal. I will let you know the judge did take note of the fact that you have been recorded in the First Appearance Center. He let me know that if you continue recording, then he plans to seize your cell phone. If he seizes my cell phone, he's violating me under the Fourth Amendment. I mean, this woman just might be worse than auditors. She can't get out of her own way. Extremely delusional and just cannot comprehend what people are telling her. I, it kind of blows my mind. Under the unlawful, unlawful seizures? Yes, uh, it would be in direct to compliance. With Why would you want to take my phone rather than talk to me I first, huh? Absolutely not and then to you're, you're, I don't want your phone you're interrupting me. Can you listen? Yes. You don't want my phone taken? I don't. That's why I'm but you that. want my rights violated. I do. This is bullshit. That is. For your defense today. Mm -hmm. So I filed a reasonable suspicion motion, which argues that they didn't have the right to pull you over and stop you. But I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you to do that, and you didn't discuss that with me. It's a defense motion uh, in order but to... But don't you think you should have... Didn't, don't you think you should have discussed that with me? You didn't discuss that with me in all the emails where I asked you what your defense strategy is. I thought you were asking me about the defense strategy under federal law, and you. No, uh, come on, uh, come on, lady. You're supposed to be an attorney, right? I am. Aren't you supposed to discuss with me what you're going to say in court? I am meant to discuss with you. You just said that that's what you were going to do, and you did not discuss. Why are you the way that you are? Discuss that with me. So I filed that motion to make sure I preserve that right for you. If you want me to withdraw. What is the name motion, of the judge that said he'll take my cell phone for recording in public under my First Amendment right? Judge Fieldman, let me know about the Supreme Court directive. That okay, I don't care about the Supreme. No court, no court can impede on a constitutional right. Ms. Villalobos, I'm more than happy to talk with you about your case being recorded. I have no problem with that. I can. Do it that doesn't matter if you have a problem with it. I'm not asking your permission. I understand. I, I I'm telling you, the patience on this young lady. I don't. I. I would not be able to do it. This woman is rude, disrespectful. She has no comprehension skills. She is literally, I think, just trying to get some kind of content. I believe she's, it's just, all, to her, it's all a joke. I don't think she takes any of it seriously. She has no personal responsibility. 
Everybody else is the problem, but not her. Oh, no, 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 no. Everybody's trying to violate her rights, all because she's got a camera. Not because of her behavior. We can do that absolutely outside of the courtroom. We are. I can't do it inside the courtroom. Well, we know that. Okay. First okay. of all, first of all, we can record in the courtroom. But I'm not trying to. I'm out here. So I why, why you're basically coming out and threatening me then. I'm not trying to. You could have told me that if I pulled my recorder out in the courtroom. You came out here to threaten me. I did not try to threaten you. Yes, you did. You drug me all the way down here from Denver. Okay, left and right over a no insurance. I'm not the one. On a car, yes, it's you, it's you. You wanna go tell on me so they could come cease my phone? No. And so that I could go jail and get bailed out. And then you guys get a federal lawsuit and then you're in with the bad guys, Lindsay. Cause I think you're not, I'm not comfortable with your defense. Okay. But I'm gonna keep you cause I think there's hope. I'm not gonna fire you. But you need to come up. You need to come up with a defense that's okay with both of us, not a defense you came with by yourself that you're going to go and then act like you're fighting, so they can reject it, and then you could come out and tell me, "Sorry, I tried." No, we're going to use laws in this one. So I don't know how you want to do this, but we're going to use laws like a lawyer is supposed to. Mm -hmm. So last time we had emailed, you mentioned you were going to bring those laws with you so that I could start researching them. Yeah, but you know what? I had just to get down here. I understand that. I'm not. Prepared. I have I just them. Wanted to know if you had them with you. Um, do you want to provide them to me now, or do you want to keep talking? Like, you know the laws. I'm. I'm sorry. You I, know the laws. So the law. That I don't have to show you the laws that you already know. Okay. I mean, can we all just agree that this woman has an incredible amount of patience to put up with this nonsense nonstop? I know this video is a little bit different from the normal public nonsense, but I just, I had to cover it. I felt, I just, have you ever seen a woman like this? I haven't. I'm, I'm okay, well, let's go some more. Let's go some more. You want to see the loss? Alex, do you want it? This is my supervisor. Do you mm -hmm. want him present? Just so nope. Uh, sure, sure. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Yeah. What's that? Tell me if it's about me. You can share that information with me. So, ma'am, we do not recommend that you record. Uh huh. Do not recommend it because because my rights are going to be impeded on the First Amendment. Delusion. Uh, so this is YouTube. Our, our We're on YouTube here. Our, our recommendation is that you do not. Recommendation. What is my right? Uh, that is our recommendation. What is my right? I'm asking you as a person with a disability and a reasonable accommodation request, what is my right regarding recording, sir? We can't tell you what to do. It is our I right. didn't tell you. I'm asking you what is our my right. Is Can you please you explain the First Amendment to me? I mean, there's a lot of things that I could say, but I'm sure each and every one of you are saying the same things right now at the TV or phone or tablet or screen or whatever you're watching this on. <laughs> what do you say? We'll, we'll come back and talk to you in just a minute. Why can't you talk to me about me? I'm happy to do that. Give me just Which a name, sir? Name you're Alan taking Fox. time from my defense and other people that are waiting, sir. This is a waste of taxpayers' money, just like dragging me back and forth from Denver is. All over for an insurance ticket, because I didn't have insurance on the day I bought. Then you shouldn't have been driving the car. It's called responsibility. Off the car. Give us just a minute. I want to Give you a minute? Me. I came all the way from Denver, and you're taking away from my time, sir? Excuse me, sir. You are taking away from my defense. Ah, oh, come on, sir. Seriously, you're not going to invite me to the conversation about me? This is kind of cold. This is kind of unconstitutional. Don't I have a right to face my accusers? Come on now. Where's the law at, sir? Thank you.